Well, it's a swarm of enormous proportions. Desert locusts are eating their way across large parts of East Africa, and it's the worst outbreak some countries there have seen in 70 years. Now, here are some of the countries that are most affected by those locusts. Somalia, Ethiopia, and Kenya are the worst affected, and Uganda is bracing for an invasion, too. Authorities have advised citizens to stock up on food as the insects approach the border with Kenya. Now, researchers say they pose an unprecedented threat to food security in some of the world's most vulnerable countries. They eat and destroy everything on their way. One swarm measured 60 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide. Hundreds of thousands of acres of crops destroyed. People fight back with whatever means they have. We are more than 200 herders here, and we all depend on this land for grazing. Now it will be disastrous if we all perish without getting any help. The swarms came from Yemen, then down from the Red Sea to the Horn of Africa. The unusual warm temperatures off the coast are partly to blame. The recent heavy rainfall has created the perfect breeding conditions. The greenery that has sprung up is now fueling them. It has almost become a desperate battle. And it is practically impossible or mockery to intelligence of humankind that uh, this one can be used to control swarms of billions of insects that are, that are destroying our, our, our crops and our, our crops and our pasture. Agriculture is big business in the region. Here, the Kenyan national government is now increasing their efforts and spraying from the air. The swarms are spreading fast, up to 150 kilometers a day. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization is raising the alarm, now calling for international assistance. It's the worst that we've seen in in Ethiopia, in Somalia in 25 years, and the worst that we've seen in Kenya in se over 70 years. The fear is that the locust numbers could increase 500 times in the next few months.